Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be installing a new windscreen. Actually, I'm making this like a super windscreen video. Um, windscreens installs are easy. I think really what people actually wanna see is how the windscreens look on the bike. And uh, they wanna kinda hear from others on how, um, you know, how buffeting is, you know, the wind reflection, uh, you know, how's visibility, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is the Machine Art Mo Moto slip screen. So this is the high position, I think. Yeah, there's a low position. I don't like the low position on this because it, um, you can see the, the sat nav right there. But uh, you know, this is my windscreen that I keep on um, pretty much July and August, the hottest months of the year. Unless I'm on the, a road trip more than like 100 miles, then I'll put on a regular windscreen. Um, last year on my GSA, I, well, let, me, let me remove this first. It's basically a T25. You need, it's two bolts. For this one to remove. So this is kind of the, you know, this is the totally stock, and not stock look, but you know, windscreenless look. Uh, the only difference I have, which is which first of what you guys have, is I have these um, Z Technic uh, stabilizers here for the larger windscreens. So, Chinook Moto, very nice. I love how it looks on the bike. Doesn't really keep much wind off of you, but if it's super hot out, it's nice. And if you're off-roading, it's awesome for that. So here's the, uh, the GSA windscreen on the bike. Upper position, very dusty. Then lower position, GSA windscreen is a great, great windscreen. Uh, my only complaint with it is the um, the movement you get up here, but, that, but that's uh, eliminated once you install these stabilizers. And Wonderlick makes some, Z Technic makes some, uh, so you can they're they're pretty dime a dozen. And this is the uh, Tall Deluxe uh, Z Technic V Stream. So this is what I use for touring now. Um, it is it, it's very tall, it keeps all the wind off of you. There we go. This one requires a lot of bending, that's it. So this one's super tall. This is the tall position, which I never use unless it's like pouring rain. Um, this comes up to my eyes, basically. And then the low position, it comes up to my chin. And Z Technic highly recommends that you run the stabilizer with this because it's so, uh, so massive. So I love this thing though for touring and on super cold days. This is the windscreen that I plan on having the bike um, the first month of the year when I'm riding because it just blocks so much. So now, Puig, Oig, Puig, uh, I think I need to transfer over the OEM uh, bits to it first. And this, this company, um, like a month ago, I asked them if I could get a discount and they said, uh, no, we don't need anyone to make any internet videos about our products. And I said, well, you're getting them anyway. So um, on the back of this here, you just have the, the four bolts and that's what you're gonna move over to the Quake Puke. You know, how, how do you pronounce, I don't know how you pronounce this. All right, so now that these are in, <clears throat> you're going to, um, basically put in the OEM bits uh, back in their respective places. Basically you're moving over from GSA to uh, this thing. So now we have uh, this mounted in here. So you can get an idea, it's kind of a, a light smoke. It's still translucent, well, to a degree. I'm gonna slide this on, just like you would your normal windscreen. Already, this fits better than the um, Z Technic did. The Z Technic, you kind of have to, the V stream, you kind of have to bend in a little bit to make it work. And Puig has uh, these awesome like lines for a wind flow. It's kind of nice actually. So, my concern with the reason why I didn't want to buy this new, I wanted to wait for it to come up on uh, as a used sale on the Venture Rider, is because I was concerned, at least I could sell it for what I paid for it. I was concerned that. Um, it would be uh, 
impossible to see the road in front of you with this, even on the lowest setting. Um, so let's see. And I'll bring you guys around the back in a second. Here's in the lowest setting. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like how it looks, at least in this angle. I thought it would complement the black, blackout stuff that we had, but uh, I don't like it. On the upper level, This is probably why uh, Puig doesn't want YouTube people reviewing their shit. So let's bring it, let's go around back here. I'll put you guys uh, hip level. So this is about where I would be sitting on the bike. You can't, you can't see shit. Let's go to lower level. Still can't see shit. I would find I would I would consider this to be extremely distracting. I looking at the way it's designed though, I think the wind deflection is probably really good, and they make a model that's not smoked. But I find this to be uh, really distracting. Yeah, so thumb down. No, thank you. Well. No, we know. I think I spent like 75 bucks on this. It's not, you know, full price, like 150, which is more than it would cost to get the Z-Technic. I think the Z-Tech is, uh, is much nicer, really good clarity, but I can't, I can't do it. Well, we'll learn something today. We all learned that this is not something for me, maybe for you. I love the lines though. Isn't that nice? I love the deflection right there. All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh thumbs down, but good to try.